Hi, today we're learning about the schwa vowel sound. And if you've never studied pronunciation in English, you've probably never heard of this sound. But that's okay. It's a very easy to understand and produce sound. But the confusing thing is that every letter, every vowel letter in English can represent this sound. I'll give you five examples from the five vowels A, E, I, O, and U. So, this schwa sound sounds like a. Uh, very simple, right? The shape is just the jaw dropping slightly, and it's a somewhat low sound in the throat. Uh, like maybe you're thinking, uh, um, that's the way you can remember this sound. So, the letter A could represent this sound, like in the word about. Uh, uh, my mouth just opened slightly. Uh, about. It could be the letter E, like the second E in the word enemy. En, uh, uh, enemy. Or it could be the letter I in the word family. Fam, uh, uh, family. Or it could be the letter O in freedom. Freed, uh, uh, freedom. Or it could be the letter U in album. 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 So, this sound is very similar to the short U, and in some schools of pronunciation, they consolidate these two sounds because they're so similar. In my opinion, the schwa is more subtle than the short U. The short U, like in the word sun, involves a little bit more drop of the jaw and a little bit lower of a sound. But it is very similar. So if it helps you understand the sound, you can listen to the, those short U sounds and compare it to the schwa sound. And I want to give you a good tip for learning these sounds, and that's by recording your voice and comparing it to a native speaker. Go to a dictionary online where you can play a native speaker saying the word, and then you say the word and record your voice and compare it to the native speaker and make that adjustment so that you can get closer and closer to sounding like the native speaker. Now's your turn to practice. Thank you for watching.